I have hubby get me some rose petals because I'm about to make some rose water. Stay tuned. Okay, so hubby grabbed me some roses from the garden. And so now I am ready to do the rose water. I have a bowl full of roses that was picked by my husband out of our garden. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just pick the petals off. Um, just very simple, just go around, pick the petals off. And I'm gonna drop them in a strainer. And um, once I actually get all the petals picked off, I'm gonna rinse them off really good. And then we're gonna go ahead and boil them to make our rose water. Um, there's still, some of them are a little dry, but for the most part, most of them are very moist. They're wet because it rained today. And these roses do have thorns. Okay guys, now I am washing the petals. And that's just to move, remove any dirt. Um, there's no pesticides on these roses, but any bugs, just give them one good wash. And now we're ready to boil. Okay guys, so um, now that I've washed my rose petals, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot ready. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use a, a regular pot and uh, you need something now. Some people use things like a bowl or a brick or stone, but I have a part off of my coffee pot that I'm gonna use to prop my bowl on here. And this bowl is going to be used to collect the uh, rose water from condensation. Okay, and this is the lid. I'm turning it upside down. I'll put a few ice cubes on it to increase the condensation. And we should get a good amount of rose water. So, next thing I'm going to do is add my rose petals. And I'm going to put it around the... Um, around the, the pot, just in a circle, kind of covering my little part of the coffee pot I have here. Okay, right around here. These are some beautiful roses. They smell wonderful. Okay, we we'll just try to stuff that in as much as we can. Rose water is great for so many things. Um, in this case, I'm going to use it as a toner. I'm also going to use it as a spritz for my hair. So, we have that in there, and now I'm going to pour my water. And the water is going to be just enough to cover, just enough to cover the roses. Okay, let's see here. And we don't want to go over our coffee, our little, little tin coffee pot strainer in the middle. So I have the water right the level of that and it's just covering the roses. Now, um, I'm gonna put my bowl here on top as well as my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire on I'm gonna start first on uh, a medium high so I can bring the temperature up to a boil. Um, I'm going to add some ice cubes to increase the condensation. Now I'm gonna put some ice on top of here. Like I say, that is gonna definitely increase condensation so we can pull all the properties out of those roses. And I have my fire kind of on very low because I just want it once I want it to simmer. You don't want it to boil, just simmer. Okay, and we're gonna let it simmer until the rose petals actually turn white. That means we've pulled all the properties out of the rose and we should have a good bit of rose water. Here is our rose water. It's still hot, so I've turned off the fire. Um, the the cool. rose water has cooled down. And as you can see, here the rose 
petals. And this is our rose water. It seems like a little bit, but you, of course, you can make a whole lot more if you want. Um, this little bit will go a long way, um, especially as a face toner. I'm putting a, a spritz bottle, or you can dab it on a cotton ball to apply to your face. Um, you can also put it in a spritz bottle um, with other oils for your hair. So here's our rose water. Until next time, guys. Thank you guys for watching.